Mpo has always loved sports from a very young age, excelling in taekwondo, karate, as well as chess, which earned him SA Protea colors at the age of six. However, he decided to invest more time in tennis and leave competitive chess. Uh, I got introduced a long time ago. Um, I used to watch a lot of tennis and I had these little plastic rackets. And uh, yeah, eventually I decided why well, not get onto the court. And yeah, at that time I wasn't really taking it seriously. I was more taking chess seriously. Then uh, COVID came and then I decided um, after maybe try to take tennis a bit more seriously. I came back and uh, for some reason after playing, not playing for long, I was playing way better than ever. My first goal was to get SA team of tennis. Uh, yeah, I worked hard um, every day. I started homeschooling. Eventually, once I joined uh, Stolten Come Tennis Academy at JP Kondo. Yeah, um, homeschooling, morning sessions, afternoon sessions, working, and then uh, we did online tournaments. And yeah, I didn't really like that. I like being more face to face with my opponent. Um, yeah, so I decided why not yeah, go back to tennis since that's also a sport that I always loved. So I mean, took it seriously. Mpo's parents approached the ESCA Wanderers, a private independent school who were excited at the opportunity to help further Mpo's education and his talent in tennis. Mpo is very excited to be joining the ESCA and is looking forward to working with the support team along with his new tennis coaches, both at the Wanderers and Kilani Country Club. We are we're super excited to, to be joining partners with ESCA and having a kid like Mpo joining our program off the bat. You know, we are starting afresh, bringing a brand new academy in January to Wanderers. And with Mpo joining that program, you know, we, we're excited to start off with a high calibre. Um, with the programs that we're going to be offering uh, is perfectly for, perfect setup for players like him um, and all other top top ranked players in the country. I got accepted into ESCO schools um, with the slight scholarship and uh, yeah it's better uh, than any normal school because everyone here is an athlete. I, I can talk to them about big tournaments, you know, it's um, we all have something in common, we all athletes, uh, not just any athletes, the best of the best athletes in the country. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited for next year. So Mpo joins at the, at the perfect age. He's joining at a point where he's able to start really where we can start working on his foundation rather than missing out a couple of those developmental years. Really what a day in the life would look like for him is having class time between around 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning where he might be working through uh, you know, one of the subjects that he'll be doing on the Cambridge curriculum. Then between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock really becomes Mpo's time to be able to become a high performance athlete. It's at that time where he will either be doing his technical, technical training with Vaughan Hunter on the tennis courts. He might be with the conditioning team uh, within our gym. He might be recovering if he's just come back from a big tournament or he's leading into a big tournament. Um, and then also once a week and then he felt on that day, he'd spend some time with the sports psychology team. And really that team is there to be able to support him in terms of making sure that he can, he can step into each of those pressurized environments and be able to perform from a mental perspective. Yeah, I'm feeling excited. Uh, what it's going to be way better, I think, than any normal school. The Joburg born has competed in numerous tournaments in the past, and his tennis highlights are representing South Africa at the ITF Under-12 Southern Africa Team Championships out in Mozambique, as well as the ITF Under-12 African Team Championships that took place in Morocco. My first goal was to make the SA team, and I was also extremely happy to be um, have selected for two SA teams, um, one in chess, one in tennis. So I've won seven tournaments. Um, the one that probably stood the most to me is the under 10 mini masters. Um, yeah, it was one of the biggest tournaments I've won. I felt very proud of myself, a lot of hard work. I went to Mozambique um, in July. It was a nice experience, not as tough as I expected, um, but yeah, uh, first trip in the, with the SA team, felt good. Uh, I'll have to be honest, uh, you know, quite quite new into into his into his team. Um, 
You know, I've, I've had two, two sessions with him so far and uh, what I'm super impressed with is his work ethics, his, willing, his will to, to learn and listen. Uh, I respect the fact that he's, he's trusted me quite quickly with anything I have to say. Uh, I really appreciate that. He hasn't fought, fought anything or questioned much. He's just bought in and, and applied it. Um, and that's for a kid that age who that's successful already is quite, quite well. Um, I do feel proud of myself at times, a bit of pressure. You know, if I lose this, I fail my country or something. That's, that is what happened in my first match in Morocco and I lost it. I felt very like broken inside. I felt um, that um, I failed my country, but often my coach helped me a bit, you know, told me everything he's been through. Like what, just losing that match was pretty small. Um, yeah, I, I put my mindset more don't go out there saying that you're representing country, going out there saying that I'm here for the experience and it takes a lot less pressure off of you. 2023, I've, it's a good year for me. It's, um, I've enjoyed it, lots of different changes been happening, uh, massive improvements, yeah. But anyways, yeah, proud of myself. I'm happy. In 2024, I'm gonna aim for number one in the country. Um, try to get accepted for IMG Future Stars in Greece. Um, also Le Patitas in France, I think, yeah. So, yeah, those are my goals. Um, yeah, gonna keep working hard. Never stop until those goals are reached. I'll tell you for, for Mpo's future, we, we're really excited to be working with him, his dad, his, his entire team that comes with Mpo. Uh, I think, I think as, a, as, a, as a real unit, we're all as teachers, uh, coaches, dads, agents, as a community, really going to be able to step in into, into the same room together and be able to really work together as a team to be able to make sure that he can achieve those goals that he's spoken about earlier. One important thing is to inspire other children for me, yeah. That's one of my main priorities, one of my main goals for where, wherever you're from, whoever you are, it's, um, you can't do anything. Yeah, nobody can tell you that you can't. Yeah. I look up to KG Munjani, um, yeah, she really proved that um, no matter who you are, you can, you can do anything. Yeah, so um, that's also my goal, to do the same thing. No matter who you are, where you're from, no matter what people think of you, you can do anything. A message to all the young boys and girls, um, keep working hard, uh, never give up. If you really want to do something, you got to give it your all, got to give it 100%. At such a young age, Mpo's definitely one to keep an eye on because the only direction that he's going is to the top. His coaches believe that this young man is ready to take on the world and add his name to the lists of greats who came before him. We wish him great success in his strides.